Okay, so before this video even starts, uh, so I found out that all of my Sky Factory videos, which I actually recorded before the first video I uploaded on this channel, right? They had the same errors and the same glitches as the first video I uploaded on my YouTube channel. So I have to delete all of that footage. It's basically corrupted footage right now. So there's a lot of stuff that's been done between the first episode and this one, which I'll show you right now. Like I'm logging on the server. So yeah, this is basically what we were up to in the other episodes. So we were gaining a bunch of cobblestone from these generators and we were like, oh, so however many cobblestone there is in this chest is however many likes there are going to be in one year of this video being uploaded. So however many cobblestone stacks there are here is how many, however many likes we should get in one year of this video being uploaded. Also, Josh isn't here today. I don't know if he's, I don't know if he wants to play today. I think he's a bit, um, I think he's got some family stuff going on. So over here, we basically started to automate every single tree we could. It was very simple and very easy. I also made an area here where we all, we just like run and just get the trees to grow. It's a lot better. Uh, also, for this video, actually, I made this this sort of this thing's called the Lovely Island. And basically, what I'm going to be doing in this in every like episode beginning is I'm going to be putting like signs with people's comments or people's names and for featuring their comment and basically thanking them uh, for commenting on the last video, which actually let's do that right now. Okay, so this is gonna be the first comment of this series that I'm gonna put on here. And it was Gaming with Kev that posted it. And I, thank you very much Gaming with Kev for subscribing and also putting a comment on that first video that I ever published. So you're going to be put here with a bunch of other people's names in this lovely island, which is really awesome. So, so if you guys want to be featured on that island, make sure to comment, leave a like, subscribe, turn on notifications, and um, I don't know, comment something nice in the comment section and I'm, I'll be sure to find you and put you on that lovely island over there. What I wanted to stop within like the next episode coming up or something is the storage problem. We are using so many chests. Look at this. So many chests to put tons and tons of items in. Like, look at this over here. Full. Full. Practically full. Practically full. Basically, we've got a huge storage issue. And it's kind of an issue with the server right now. Because also over here, all of these chests are like full and full. And this is packed up. Now watch this. This is all packed up over here. This is all packed up. This is all packed up. It's basically chaos and we need to get better storage. But also, we can't do that right now because we need a diamond sapling. And like, a diamond sapling, I think we need like blue flowers. Uh, so let's have a look at this. Diamond sapling. We need lapis resin, gold resin, which we don't even have gold resin. We have a redstone sapling and silver. I don't even have silver. So to make silver amber, we need like petrified resin, tin resin, and lead resin. So we need to get lead, which I don't even have either. And then we need light gray dye. This is basically really hard. And now to get lead, we need to get a lead tree, which to get a lead tree, we need to get lead amber, which is over here. And then to get lead amber, we need petrified resin, iron resin, and sand resin with some blue or lapis dye. It's basically chaos, right? And then also to make diamonds, we need gold, which we don't even have gold. To make gold amber, we need sand, iron, and lead again, as well as dandelion yellow. It's basically a crap ton of work. So that should be enough. If I do this and if I click on this, there we go, we got one tin amber. So let's put the tin in here. That should smell up. Let's grab this redstone. Now when this tin smelts up, there we go, we get molten tin. Now what we want to do is we want to grab this, there we go, and we want to get this sap, this thing right here, and now we're going to need a birch sapling. So to get a birch sapling, uh, all, all I think we need to do is get some water and then plop a sand sapling in there. There we go. We've got two birch saplings. Now I'm going to actually automate these because um, we're going to need them eventually someone else. 
I'm actually going to put some more sand saplings. Oh, re really? Really? I failed that. I really failed that. So let's do a couple more of these. There we go. Let's eat some monster jerky because I don't actually have much hunger to fill. Okay, so now I'm gonna put one of these guys in here and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna pour it on this tree. I think we have one ingot remaining, so we can actually make two of these saplings, which is really convenient. But there we go. 99% there we go so that's pretty good these mobs are so obnoxious i fixed the sound and now i regret fixing the sound there we go so we've got two tin saplings we've started automating the birch and the jungle now we're going to start automating the tin saplings there we go look at that so i'm going to get this coal sapling and i'm going to dump that in some water there we go, one, two, three, four. So we just got four dark oak saplings, which isn't bad at all. I'm actually gonna automate these dark oak saplings as well. Okay, so in this crafting station, what we're first gonna do is we're first gonna craft some sand, which is very simply done. Uh, there we go. So we've got 12 sand. Now we're gonna smelt this sand and get glass. Okay, there we go. So we have some glass in here. There we go, three glass. I think that's had enough. There we go, three glass bottles. And then we're gonna use our infinite water source over here, uh, which keeps on turning into ice. Gosh dang it. Okay. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to make this lapis sapling right here. Pow. There we go. Can we make another one? Can we make another one? Pow. There we go, we just got two lapis saplings, so let's go automate these. This is a pretty advanced episode already, we've we've automated like lapis saplings, we've automated dark oak, we've automated tin, we've automated birch, we've automated jungle saplings. Yeah, this is pretty chaotic, we've got a ton of stuff automated, uh, we're gonna need to get better storage for all of this. I'm sorry guys, I'm cheating, but I, I, it is necessary for the video. Okay, so we're just gonna put this near, there we go, a mineral sapling. Cool. So we're gonna automate this melon reel sapling. Let's start working on the lead amber. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to turn these into a grind. We need to put these into a grindstone and get lapis. I got one lapis. Okay, so now we're also gonna need, uh, I believe we're gonna need petrified, hang on, let's have a look at this. We're gonna need petrified resin, iron resin, and sand resin. Okay, so we're gonna try and craft Okay, we can only craft one, but that's not bad. We've got lead amber. And now to make a lead sapling, we're just going to need to put the, this on a dark oak sapling, which we've just automated dark oak saplings. Look at this. We've got four dark oak saplings. This is amazing. We're breaking the goddamn game. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to put this lead amber in this smell tree. And this is going to start smelting... And it's going to turn into, I think, two ingots, which is perfect to automate the entire thing. Okay, there we go. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, this takes time. Oh. Well, we're already at 50%. Stop it. Stop it, BB-8. Wait. I just killed BB-8. And he gave me a torso. Thanks, BB-8. There we go. Wait, wait, wait. Lead saplings. We are so close to getting the diamond sapling we need. But there we go, we've automated lead. I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think we can do it over here. <gasps> Look at that! Wait, wait, wait. There we go, dandelion yellow dye. So this is going to be a big part of what we need to get golden saplings for some reason. I wish it were real life that we could just turn a yellow flower into gold. Okay, so we're going to need lead resin, iron resin, and sand resin. We don't need much, so it should probably be done already. Look at that, two. That's perfectly what we need. And then we also need four iron resin and two sand resin. Okay. 
So I'm pretty sure I've got iron resin already on me and sand resin already on me. So we can craft it, right? We can craft this? <gasps> there we go! Gold armor! One shiny boy. <laughs> Great. Okay, so we're going to need to put this in here, smelt this up, and then we're going to need to get an oak sapling and dump it on the oak sapling. There we go. 10, 20%, there we go. Oh, this is pretty fast. Okay, okay. This is a lot faster than I thought it would be, because the other one felt like it took forever, but it probably didn't. It's probably just me. Gold saplings. Money grows on trees. So it does. Ah, cool. I got an ender pearl. Okay, so if I put this coal in here and then right click on this thing, it should turn this into pulverized coal. Uh, there we go. Is this pulverized coal? This is pulverized coal. Okay, so then we put this with here, this. There we go. Now we got light gray dye. And I didn't want to do that. Where's my... Wait. Where did my bone meal go? Oh, there it is. It glitched, I think. Okay. But then we get light gray dye. And make a quick thing. We've got two silver amber, which actually I think we only need one. But, um... We're going to ignore that, okay? We're going to ignore that. We're just going to put these two things in here. We're going to smelt them up. And then, to make, a, to make a sapling, we need mineral saplings again. So, we're going to need to go get some mineral saplings. Luckily, we've automated them. Okay, so mineral saplings. There we go. One mineral sapling. Are you kidding? There's only one mineral sapling in here. Okay, so now we're going to put this with the lead. We have four saplings here. Uh, we might actually need some of this, and we might need some of the lead later, so I'm going to keep it in there. Um, but look at that. There we go. we got a silver sapling. We're going to need to make two of these silver saplings because they're quite important. Okay, I think I can also make these two. Um, let's have a look at this. Silver saplings. There we go. Look at that. We now are growing silver saplings, which I think is the last ingredient we need for a diamond sapling. It's the last ingredient we need for a diamond sapling. <gasps> We've got gold resin. We've got lapis resin. We've got a redstone sapling. Silver resin. There we go. Silver resin, lapis resin, and we need one last type of resin, I'm pretty sure, to make this sapling. Gold resin. We have a crap ton of gold. Look at how rich I am. I've got 64 gold resin in my inventory right now. Okay, so we should be able to just make this with a redstone sapling, which we have like a crap ton of redstone saplings, so... Let's just do this real quick. Uh, there we go. I can make two diamond saplings. We rich out here. We rich out here. Okay, so there we go. I just made two more bonsai hopping pots. And normally, if I put these over here, and then I put some dirt in these, I can actually start growing diamonds. There we go. We're growing diamonds in this chest right here. Holy moly, that is so much work for a diamond sapling. We just got diamonds though, but next episode, if you guys want to see that next episode, what we're going to be doing is we're actually going to be creating a new storage system. Look at this. This is called a storage request table. We're going to be crafting this, which needed gold originally, and storage cables, which needs like a crap ton of iron. And then we also need the storage network master, which needs... Literally one diamond. That's all we need. But then the next episode is going to evolve around completely replacing every single one of these chests with one item. If you guys have enjoyed this video, leave a like, turn on notifications, subscribe, uh, and all that really good stuff. Hopefully you have enjoyed this very, this good episode. And if you guys want to see anything unique in this series, make sure to comment it down below. And that will also give you a chance of being in this lovely island over here with your name written right underneath this guy's name on this sign over here. But yeah, thank you all for watching and I'll see you all next time. Peace out, everybody.
Thank you.